leftover turkey never looked any better. Mm. Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put a party in your mouth by using leftover turkey and making Aussie style party pies. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into this. So you have a lot of turkey left over after the holiday season. What are you gonna do with it? Make some Aussie style turkey party pies is the correct answer. Now you could just make a turkey sandwich, but shoving a party in your mouth sounds a lot better. <laughs> a good pie needs a good gravy. So into some boiling water, we want a beef stock cube and a chicken stock cube. Crumble them up and add them to the water. We're just gonna stir that around and let them dissolve. We need to melt some butter in a pan over a medium heat. And if you swirl it around like this, it looks fancy. It looks like you're actually doing something. Once the butter's melted, you can add some flour, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. Grab your spoon and just stir it. It'll thicken up. Next up, we want to put in half of our stock. And we're just going to stir that and allow it to thicken up. It won't take long at all. And then we can add the rest of our stock. So after stirring it for a minute or two, you're gonna have the perfect consistency of gravy, and now we can just take it off the heat. Some people tell me this gravy tastes finger licking good, similar to a certain kernels. To make this easy for the pastry, I'm using the pre-made stuff. I'm using short crust for the base, and I'm using puff pastry for the tops. All we have to do is take out enough slices that we need and let them defrost for 15 minutes. But we'll get these out of our way because we've got more prep to do. To make these turkey party pies, we are gonna need a few ingredients. Leftover turkey, frozen vegetables that have been cooked as per the packet instructions, and some mushrooms. So we just need to add some oil to a pan over a medium heat. And once that's warmed up, we can add some butter. Once that's warmed up, we can add some butter. Once the butter has all melted, add your mushrooms and a good pinch of kosher salt. Maybe two. Now, just give that a good stir up and we're leaving that alone for five minutes because we want to draw out the moisture of the mushrooms and allow it to evaporate. So after five minutes, give them a bit of a stir up, try and flip them over and we're going to let them keep cooking for a further two minutes. Now we just need to add the turkey and the veggies. So just stir it all through and we're going to allow this to cook for about two minutes just to allow that turkey to warm up. And next up we can just add that gravy which should have thickened up nicely and we're just going to stir this through and once it's all mixed thoroughly we'll take it off the heat. Now I could seriously eat it as it is but I, I won't because I promised you a party in your mouth. Or party pies. You're welcome. I'm going to be using a muffin tin today and you can buy these at pretty much every homeware retailer. All you have to do is give it a spray of oil. Now for the base, we're going to use a 10 and a half centimetre cookie cutter and we're going to cut out our shapes out of our short crust pastry. So once you've got them cut, just lay them over the mould and you're just going to push them in and mould it to the shape of the muffin tin. Next up, just grab an egg and beat it up and then just brush this over the edges of each of the pie bottoms. Next up, we just want to put enough filling to fill each one of them up. Make sure that you fill them right up to the top and don't throw it everywhere like me. This is seriously smelling that good already. I'll be surprised if they make it into the weather. Now we need the lids to these party pies and we're going to be using puff pastry this time. I've got an eight and a half centimetre cookie cutter. We just need to cut them out, same as we did with the bottoms. Now that we have the lids all cut out, we just have to place them on top of our party pies. So using a fork, I just like to press around the outside. It just helps the lid and the bottom stick together. Then using a sharp knife, I'm just going to pierce a small hole in the top of each one. This is just going to allow the steam to escape. And the last thing we need to do is we're just going to put egg wash over the top of each one. Now they're ready for the barbecue, but the barbecue is not ready for them just yet. Today I'm going to be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm going to be pairing it up with some charcoal baskets because I want to be cooking at temps of 240 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is I'll fill up a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light them up and once they're fully ashed over I'm going to grab my charcoal baskets, place them in the centre of the charcoal grill and dump the lit fuel in. And then using a pair of tongs I'm just going to 
place the charcoal baskets to either side of the charcoal grate. I now place the grill back in and we're going to put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open and we're going to allow that 10 minutes to warm up. 10 minutes of free time, sounds like beer time to me. So we're just going to place the pies in the middle of the cooking grate between the two charcoal baskets and put the lid back on and set a timer for 30 minutes. Now don't forget to spin that lid 180 degrees at the 15 minute mark just so these pies cook evenly. Today I'm cooking with a temp of 240 degrees Celsius and these pies are going to take 30 minutes for that pastry to be golden brown. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Now you may be new to my channel and if you are, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button is going to allow you to be notified every time I drink more beer. The party pies are ready, golden brown and smelling amazing. Now they are going to be hot so let them cool down for at least five minutes. So let's just cut into this and see what did we create. Oh, look at that. These Aussie style turkey party pies are that good, they should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.